Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brindis. Today's video, I want to show you how does summer house look like here in Iceland. Together with my two brothers, we drove two hours. Since I am not driving, I just enjoy sit back and relax at the back of the car while enjoying the stunning scenery of Iceland. Guys, we are now here in the tunnel. That's why it's a bit dark. In the summer house look look at the view oh my god so beautiful and we are lucky there's no rain here yes hi guys hello hi we are here in the summer house now Look at the summer house. We're going to stay for, for for five days. Yay! Look at the surroundings. Hi guys. We are now here in the summer house. We're located in Borgenes. Say hi. Hello. In my YouTube channel. This is your way. We're gonna spend our Easter here. And this is my other brother. And then there is my mother, uh, my, my brother in law. Hi. My brother. Uh -huh. Guys, look at that outside. The view is insanely beautiful. Oh my god. Everybody is busy eating. That is my brother there, the one in the wearing a hat, and then my sister and my other sister here, and my brother in law standing there. And here is he is our youngest brother. Hi 
guys. Good morning again. Good day. Yeah, but I'm not making dinner. Oh, Timmy, no, na er, he held the old me. Yeah, but she na ikaw after. In so gisa ya old dan, with the rumit na i sumar bustad. This summer house has three bedrooms and can occupy from 7 to 10 person max. I wasn't able to show the other two rooms because some of my siblings were still sleeping. They also have grills if you guys like to grill outside, especially in the summertime. And usually they also have vacuum cleaner and even washing machine. But make sure you have to get the old details before you book. So guys, if you are interested to come and visit in Iceland and rent a summer house, you need to book at least three months before so you can get the best place or location as possible. There are so many to choose from. Just search in the website summer house in Iceland. I cannot recommend any one in particular because I am not sponsored by them. Maybe in the coming future, if my YouTube channel will be known and some of them can sponsor, that would be great. This summer house we live in is owned by a company where my brother-in-law works. Each worker is allowed to rent a summer house like this every summer that is the good thing here in Iceland because they have this association that workers can also avail a summer house with discount. Now guys, I'm going to bring you up outside. After we had our brunch, we headed outside for a walk. But it rained, so we need to come back in the cabin or in our summer house and wait there until the rain stopped. Are we not going to pass this way? Ah, okay. early in the morning and my sister there sitting and also my brothers and our brother-in-law just chatting they've been working so much the past few days so now time to relax in this summer house while we are on the holiday now guys join me explore let's go outside i will show you the surroundings it's so beautiful out here guys It is quite an experience as you can see see so quiet and the other summer house there just a distance away so we don't bother them and they don't bother us and here is the hot pot look 
my brothers and my brother-in-law last night soaked in this hot water here enjoying having some bears and chit chat Now guys, let me take you around the house or the summer house. Let's see what we have here. You see, it's so clean and tidy. And from the hot pot, there's access straight to the shower area where you can take a shower right away after you soak in the hot tub look this is the whole summer house as you can see it's so clean the air is so fresh and the surroundings that is the parking lot. As you can see, our cars there is in the parking lot. And over there is another summer house that probably someone is also occupying it at this moment. By the way, guys, sorry that I speak slowly because I don't want our neighbors to hear that I am taking a video and so making so much noise they might report us to the police so that's why I talk slowly but guys as you can see look at the landscape isn't that gorgeous see we are so lucky to get this summer house just near from the city of Reykjavik. Anyway guys, if you will rent the summer house, you are responsible to clean the whole summer house before you leave. Right now, we are here, one of the tourist spots in Burgundy called Glanifoss. Glanifoss is located just close by in our summer house. It's another day, it's like our day three today. Right now, we're going to explore the Look, look at the chain. We will climb there. All the way up. That is my sisters. That is all my siblings in front of me. My siblings. You 
fishing and hunting already. I counted, I've been walking for 105 steps. And right now, we are not halfway there on the top. So I don't know if we can make it. We will see. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. Uh, I lost count already. So I will just start from the top. If we reach in the top, I will see how many step we walk. Then I'll show you later. Yes. down because the wind is so strong up there so now let's go the thing here the good thing here because the Icelandic government they put this kind of pathway and very solid and convenient to walk all the way up to those who are energetic I don't think they have problem but for me I am I don't trust myself so I just I decided to go down while the wind is not blowing so fast so guys thank you for watching and hope you like this video and if you like this video give me the thumbs up and if you get this far please subscribe in my youtube channel and click the notification bell below so you will be able to watch my upcoming video to go home it was quite an experience by the way guys I wasn't able to take any videos or pictures on our day four because it was so much raining and we just stay inside and watch Netflix and eat and chat and play Scrabbles so today, right now, we are preparing to go home. We are waiting in the car while my sister and my brother-in-law check everything inside the summer house. If there's no, nothing left behind or if there is something need to be cleaned again or whatsoever. So, guys, this is it. Thank you for watching and in case you would like to come in Iceland, you can have some ideas. As you can see, the hot pot is already closed. Everything is back to the same place where it was. No garbage left behind. 
That is how Icelandic or we live here in Iceland. If you use the place, do not leave anything behind, including your dirt or garbage. Thank you for watching and hope you guys are doing well and safe. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.